Hey guys, what's going on? Shane here. I am headed out to camp right now. Steve and I have um, been wanting to go camp at this certain place for quite some time to take a look at it. And we just haven't been able to kind of make our time, you know, work to do it. So we decided to take the opportunity. It's a little bit later, but you know what? Steve and I usually go out anyway. And we do camping at night just because that's how our schedules are. So it is what it is. I'm super excited to be going back out here again. And uh, we're going to be doing some tarp camping, so I'm excited about that. I might use the same setup that uh, the boys and I used. Ooh, Lord, that was a rough section of road. I might use the uh, same setup the boys and I used last week at the lake. Or I might try a different setup. I'm not sure. I'm kind of uh, a little indecisive right at the moment. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a good time be hanging out with my buddy doing some camping kind of what it's all about tonight kind of some off-road business going on but it's all good we've been playing in this setup or this trip for a while we wanted to do this while we were hot tent camping and just bring our trucks all the way out here and it just didn't work out but we're here now and that's all that matters all right so we have our trucks out here we brought our trucks up to where we want to camp and that's okay too but it'll be convenient because we're actually quite a ways away from anything we'll be able to put our tarps up here but the biggest problem that we ran into when we got out there was all the grass um, if we want to cook any food or use a camp stove out there we both agreed it would probably create a fire it's definitely a big fire hazard so we're not taking the chance we're gonna set our tarps up out here and uh, Enjoy what we got. See, this is the time that it would have been great if we would have just brought a bunch of fireworks. Except for the fact that we're in grassland, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, it's like. Can't wait for losing right now. It's great, but not so much. But so bad. So, I guess oh. we gotta keep it under control, huh? Oh, so bad. That's nice. I brought a stick. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> professional with his business. Well, I just thought it would be cool. You're going to, like a pup tent almost, huh? Well, if you, I mean, if you I'll wanted to, you know. In, but yeah. You could. That looks neat. Yeah, I'm still using a stick. <laughs> looks cool, though, man. So here is my setup for the evening. Just got my one tigress sleeping bag, my thermal thermarest sleeping pad down there. Stevo. He doesn't have anything in there yet, but check out that frame that he made. That thing cool. It keeps him from having to do that <laughs> on his setup. It gives him a little more room on the inside, but it's cool. So here's his setup. And here's my setup for the evening. It's about time to make some food, what do you say? Let's see. All right, looks like Steve-O's choice. A stove tonight is gonna to be the Unigear stove. He gifted me one of these and they are awesome little stoves. Tonight, I'm gonna to be using my Bushcraft Essentials Bushbox XL. This is, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I 
the titanium version. Oh yeah. Well, I don't think finding firewood is gonna be an issue. I already cut this piece off right here. Got it in my arms. But this tree is completely wasted. One of the trees from the flooding. But we'll use it, that's for sure. I did this last week and it really worked out well. It's not a windy day right now, as you can tell. So I put my windscreen up. I'm gonna put my windscreen down again. And I'm gonna put my stove on top of the windscreen so I don't scorch the ground here. Seems to work out pretty good. So, catch ash pan falls. Oh, it's already together. Pretty decent. Probably moving over so it's not on that little slope there, but all right. I haven't used this stove in quite some time. I'm really looking forward to just kind of packing it up and feeding it. I do enjoy doing that. I know some people don't like feeding stoves, but I also understand that a lot, not a lot of people collect stoves too, so. This is a fun little stove in titanium. I also have it in uh, stainless. It was my very first wood stove I ever got. I really just enjoy it. Funny thing is about the stove, um, we were on our way to Florida and we pulled over to rest area and I had the stainless steel version and uh, police stopped us and I thought I was in trouble for using a stove and he actually said he thought it was pretty cool and he just sat there and watched me cook a bowl of chili so it was neat, pretty interesting. I'm gonna light this. I'm not gonna use this whole fire starter. There's no way I'm gonna use all of it. But I'm gonna break a piece of this off. And use it to get this fire going quickly. Steve-O's over there. He's got his fire going. It's kind of our thing. We like to cook our food and hang. I got some eggs in here that I keep in my GSI Infinity Mug along with two little packs of coffee for tomorrow. That's how I keep them from getting broken. I used to have this really cool like I'm going to put my handle on this side so it doesn't get too, too hot. I used to have this really cool like double egg holder. I don't ever know what happened to it. And look at that thing go. So awesome. Not even a little bit. My eggs are done. Time to get more water on now. I think I'm gonna do my tea first. for 
that. I'm gonna take my tea and I'm gonna put it in my infinity mug. Uh, temperatures dropped. What do you think it dropped down to, Steve? -o? Yeah, it got really chilly really quick. I have a good thing we're right here by our trucks. I have insulated pants and a thicker jacket. <laughs> But anyway, uh, like I was saying, I'm gonna transfer my tea or my water out of here when I steep my tea just because in the titanium, it's getting so cold out, uh, it'll cool down pretty quick and my tea won't steep as well as I like it because I like my tea strong even if I'm drinking decaf. I like the flavor of strong tea. The joy of feeding stoves, man. I. this big old knot looking one I'm gonna stick it in there if I can make it fit oh yeah it's cool <laughs> it's neat Next. Once they hit a boil, I do them for nine minutes. I could do them longer or shorter, but with the cold weather outside, yeah. you just usually it's six minutes. But with the cold weather outside, it's six minutes once they hit the boil. So. The stove was burning so hot, it hit a boil pretty fast. And it's gonna hit a boil again really quick. When it comes to the, uh, I have the noodles on now, I like to do the eggs first. So that way they can get a chance to cool down in the water and the shell will come off easy. All right, so I'm gonna get some of this flavoring in my ramen. Get that mixed up in there real good. I'll show you guys what I like to do with my eggs here. I like to take my eggs and cut them. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? to take my eggs and cut them like that. Enough of my knife. Add just a little, little bit of salt. Some Cholula. To each his own, but to me, tastes great. So long. So it's first bite rule time. Go with these spicy eggs here. been a while mm, so good the moon is huge I got it out of the corner of my eye when I was looking at my camera <laughs> oh. 
Wow, that's good. All righty, well, there is Steve-O's camp. He's rocking the same sleeping bag I am, the one tigress. Just such a good bag. Over here, similar setup, but different. We have a lot of the same taste when it comes to gear, but we've also been camping together so long that we always get similar, but different. Because it ain't cool to have the same stuff. So, <laughs> looks good though. It's time to get in there and hunker down now. Oh yeah. Alrighty, well we are in our in our tarps. Steve, what'd you say the temperature was? It was about twenty eight. About twenty eight degrees. Feels pretty decent, but uh it feels, it feels cold. it feels more decent now. I uh I changed out, put on my wool socks, my dry wool socks, put on some sweats, got a hoodie on, stocking hat. I'm in a zero degree bag, so be sleeping good. I'm already, I'm already feeling toasty. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Say night, John boy. Night, John boy. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Enjoying that sunrise. Steve was still sleeping. See their trucks over there. I'm gonna uh, turn on some coffee on. Coffee sounds good. good. <laughs> That's why I carry this with me. Insulated bottle means no frozen water. <laughs> In the summertime, it means no spoiled milk. But, oh yeah. See them all laid out here. Getting ready to make some, some coffee. But before I do that, I want to get old Esther C. Or emergency works good too. Just drink one of these in the morning. You know, it's just immune support right now during the cold and flu season or the coronavirus, whatever. Any little bit helps. Any little bit helps keep your immune system up, keep you healthy, keep your metabolism going. And if you do get sick, you're able to, to be that much stronger or at least have your immune system that much stronger. Like I said, it can't hurt, right? Still feeding my stove off the same branch I brought over last night. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna share stoves. Steve -O's. Oh, ice. <laughs> That's all right. Ice, ice, baby. That's cool though. <laughs> that tree is ginormous over there. It's a huge down tree back there. 
So Steve and I, we like to name places that we go. We've got Tickville, we've got the hills. Uh, since this one has three huge, boy, they look small on the camera though. <laughs> but there are big, three huge dead trees. We're dubbing this little spot between. You notice it's just it's just grassland is what it is. But we're just gonna call it Deadwood. So these are grasslands that we're in right now. What they did is they cleared this grass in the middle. Um it's kind of a hunting area. So you can come out here and hunt. We're at the very, very end of it. <laughs> And we've been wanting to come here. It's you can't really tell how much of a curve it is, but we wanted to come and sleep around the other end of this curve. So that's where we are. Nice little place to get away though. No drama, no BS, no loud campers near you. Unless you're counting me. Because I like to talk. My nose is cold. <laughs> We're wild men. Wild, wild men. You got the trucks running. That's a glorious thing about doing a, a tailgate camp, I guess. Is get the truck started up. They can warm up while you pack up. Enjoy your coffee. I'm drinking this uh, Folgers Instant Coffee. Two packets to make a cup, but it ain't horrible. It ain't great, but it ain't horrible. This is us pretty much all packed up. Uh, just hanging out here and kind of take it in the morning a little bit. I got my stove, which is probably cooled down. I'm just using it as an excuse to wait for it. It's titanium. It's probably been cooled down for 10 minutes. <laughs> but I'm gonna drink my coffee here and I brought, I knew I wasn't gonna wanna make breakfast in the morning. Not today. Kinda just wanted to have the just an enjoyable outing with my bro over here. So I brought a Pop-Tart. So there was a time where Steve and I, if we would have like talked about bringing our trucks out to camp or to a camp, we would have been like, man, you're cheating. Can't be doing that, we're cheating, we gotta walk. But really, I think we're just getting too old to give a crap anymore. You know? I mean, we've been camping for years and we've done some crazy hikes I don't even know if I would say we are cheating there are a lot of people that would say yeah. you are cheating you cheat but there's a lot of different ways to camp you know it's not just one way no well years ago my mindset would have been like I can't do that I'm cheating for sure that's because we just got into that hiking thing yeah know? we did we got into a, this crazy like hiking backpacking mindset we just realized that man we just love being outdoors and any way that we can get ourselves to it to enjoy it that's what really matters but. all right everyone well thanks for coming along and hanging out it's going to be a short video but you know what i just hope you guys can get some time to get outdoors so please like comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos i really appreciate it and man i tell you what my little guys, they really appreciate it. They love watching you guys comment on all the videos. So the next outing, I'll probably have them in tow. So uh, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. The, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Don't jump off the trunk of frozen feet. <laughs> all right, Steve-O's gone. It's my turn to get. All right, I'm heading out, I'm heading home now. And uh, it had to have got way colder 
than we thought because we just got into the trucks and thank God warmed them up because according to my thermostat on my truck, it's 21 degrees outside. It's usually pretty accurate. I shouldn't say usually, it's always accurate. <laughs> but, interesting. Steve and I were talking about coming back out here and doing some pheasant hunting. So, when the time arrives, we shall. Beautiful out here. <laughs> 